a few important things to note when using the overlocker. You want to make sure it's got a chain of stitching coming out of it, not loose threads. If there are loose threads, the machine has become unthreaded and it can't be used. The machine's got a blade here. This blade will cut your fabric edge as you sew. Don't be scared of it. It's hard to get your fingers in there. It has a lever at the back which lifts the presser foot up and down. It must be down for you to be able to overlock. If it's up, the threads will come undone. So that is your number one concern, making sure the presser foot is down before you sew. This is gonna be your guide here. You want the edge of your fabric lined up with this edge here. And not like with our usual sewing machine, when you're finished sewing, you can't just lift up the foot and yank your fabric out and cut it off. You have to sew it out. Okay, so I've got my edge lined up here. Press a foot is down. So when I get to the end here, I'm gonna sew it out. So I'm gonna keep sewing and I'm gonna pull it around to the left-hand side. When I get to here, if I've got scissors, I can cut it off or I can bring it back around underneath here and I can use the blade of the machine to cut it off. Like that. I'm going to show you how to do corners on the overlocker just with the small sample that I've got. So I just bought each edge around, which means I've got all these loopy bits left on the corners. But now I just grab my scissors and I'll cut those off and get rid of them. And that way you've got a fully sealed edge corner sample, which you will use as your overlocker sewing license.